Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Spellbinder Report. I'm looking at the stereo behind photo from 11.55 today, and the object you're seeing is probably the most clearest of the objects that are spaceships. This is definitely looks like a form of spaceship. I'm going to point out some things on it. You have, it looks like the, well, I'd call it the bridge. You have a a structure going in this way, a structure going in this way, and then you have these uh, pods, maybe, of the ship. Then you got the big cylinder, like I'd call them exhaust vents for whatever they use for propulsion, is what it basically looks like. And you got one up here, you got a little thing, it's kind of dark there. I'll bring up the brightness on this just a little bit. I've already adjusted the uh, sharpness on it. That's why it looks so sharp. I'm going to go brightness and we'll bring the brightness up on it. And this is very, very revealing. This is the closest one of these vehicles to the uh, stereo satellite that I've caught so far. And as you can see, you're getting a real good view of what these ships look like up close and personal. I and mean, this is basically this picture here, if it shows up. Now I'm going to have to move the screen. Give me a moment here. Okay, that's where it looks like from the sun. Just slingshot back on me. Well, there's the sun's rim up here. You can see where it's at. And this is the stereo behind. Now 11.55 today. You can still catch this if you go to the Stereo Satellite website and go to the uh, Stereo Behind and pick uh, 1024 resolution and then look for 1155. Uh, this is probably the most clearest I've ever seen this object that close to the satellite. See, I don't think these things are as big as a planet. No, that's not exactly what they are. They're just closer to the satellite, so they show up bigger. And this thing just happened to be zooming by at the time that the picture was taken. They're usually taken every uh, 10 minutes at a time. I've called on this one today that they actually skipped 30 minutes on there. For some reason, there must have been a bunch of these objects on there. And they go, well, this is just too obvious. we got to eliminate 30 minutes or three frames of the satellite. But that's what it looks like there. Let me take it back down to this one, which is the detailed up. And that's what it looks like up close. We'll bring the contrast up. It kind of darkens everything, but it brings out more of the structural detail. You can tell these are square or rectangular. Actually, it almost looks octagon or even six-sided. There's a layer here, there's one across there, that one almost looks like it goes in an angle. But these are definitely, definitely not your, not a planet. I had one guy made a comment saying, oh, there's this planet. Oh yeah, that looks like a planet to me. I've never seen a planet like that before in my life. Uh, <laughs> I think that's all I'm going to show you. You can check this out. I just wanted to bring this one up because I was going through I went, you know what? This is just obvious what it is. It's no doubt about it, basically. Uh, bring the brightness back down a little bit. I just know, I mean, there's a tank like right there, a round sphere off of it. I'm like saying, this is some type of ship. I'm not really sure. It doesn't really appear to be another satellite. If it is, it's some really top secret satellite they got going along with. And they move in and out. So these things are self-propelled, unlike the uh, uh, head and behind satellites that don't do nothing but orbit. They don't move around like these do. In the next frame, this thing's gone ten minutes later. It's moved out of the frame of the uh, uh, stereo uh, behind satellite. And I was telling people to figure out really how these things could be judged or how big they are is if we could somehow uh, take take the two pictures, stereo ahead and stereo behind, and find the same object on both satellites 
and then somehow fill in the spaces with geometry you could figure out at distance how far away it is and then figure the size of it. Well, that's about all I have to say for now. I think I'm going to get off of here and let you ponder over this. This is Spellbinder's report on the Ahead Behind Stereo Satellites for today. June 13th, 2011. It is now 3.07 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, be good or be good at it. Good day.